What is up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing absolutely amazing today. In this video, as you can tell by the title, I am finally doing a home tour, but not really a home tour, just my kitchen and my living room kitchen living room over here. Um, and that is just because, to be completely honest, I haven't really cared to design any other rooms in my house. This is a condo, I do own it. So all of the upgrades and decor and all that kind of stuff that I've done that's more permanent, I don't have to reverse it. I don't have to change it back because I own the condo and ultimately it just makes the value of the property go up. I will be sure to link everything I can find as far as decor that I have in my home. Some of this stuff I do get from places that you can't really buy online. So TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, um, and yeah. Some of the stuff I've also just purchased years ago. So I don't even think that it's made anymore, let alone sold. So, Miss Loretta, I'm ready for the rest of the tour. Okay, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I don't know, I don't know. All right, welcome to my humble abode. So this is what you see when you're facing my living room and my kitchen is back there. We'll get to it in a little bit. But what I love about this space is just that it's extremely open. I really feel like it's just one really big room as opposed to two rooms just because the space is so open. And I also love my floor to ceiling windows. I feel like this lighting is definitely not giving it justice, but um, there's so much light that comes through because they are floor to ceiling windows. I do have a building literally right across the street from me. So sometimes it blocks the sun, but for the most part, I get really nice sunlight, which is great for filming. Something I really wanted to do was to create sort of like a door or a divider for my living room and my kitchen. So I got this tension rod off of Amazon and I just bought these curtains from Ikea. And I feel like since white reflects light, it makes my apartment a lot more bright. And I don't know, I just think it gives a really regal feel. They're nice, they're flowy, they're like this cream colored. And when I open the door, like the wind blows on them. It's just, it's just amazing and it just creates such a vibe. And then when we walk into my living room on the left side or like the main wall is my entertainment center. So that is right here. And on the entertainment center, I just have a TV and a sound bar. Both of them are Samsung, I wanna say, and I've had them for five years. I don't really watch TV. I watch YouTube and I watch Netflix for the most part in Lifetime, random I know. Um, so I just have a fire stick. I don't have cable or anything and I don't have like a souped up, you know, Apple TV or anything like that. I just keep it basic. And on the left side of my TV, I just have these two Bible study books that I read pretty much every day. I just think they're so cute and aesthetically pleasing. So I decided that I wanted to actually have them out as opposed to inside my drawers. And then I have a candle sitting on top. The candle holder I got from Ikea, it's like this white sort of ceramic or clay candle holder. I like it because I don't know, it just has some cute like dips in it and sort of just imperfections. It looks like someone literally spun it by hand. So I really like that. And then the green candle I just got from Target. I will say, I'll probably just get them off of Amazon next time because it was like two for five, which was in my opinion, absolutely ridiculous for two little stick candles. But anyways, I digress. And my actual TV stand is from Walmart, which I'm still blown away by because literally I was gonna buy one of these off of West Elm for like 600 bucks and I saw this on Walmart for literally less than $200. I love this not just because of the mid-century modern sort of just sleek and minimal design but also because there's a lot of storage in here. So in here I keep my record player, books, magazines, all my dog stuff, literally anything that's just randomly laying out I can just stuff in here and it can be hidden because I hate mess. 
And moving on from my entertainment center to my coffee table. The coffee table I got from All Modern. I know they have it on Wayfair and a couple other different websites. And I really wanted a clear coffee table because as you can see, the space between my entertainment center and my couch is kind of small. Like there's not a whole lot of space. So I wanted something that was clear and pretty small just so that it looked like there was not a bunch of space being taken up. So that is what I love about this table is the fact that it's all glass and it kind of gives the illusion like there's nothing there. And on the table, I have two coffee books from West Elm. One is the home edition and the other is, I want to say the entrepreneur edition. So the pictures and the photos and the inspiration in kinfolk books are just mind blowing. So if you've never seen or had a kinfolk book, I would highly recommend. And then on top, I just have this wooden bead garland. This is more of like a holiday thing. I got it for fall, but I just ended up liking it. So I kept it. And then I always have a candle burning on my coffee table as well. So this one is just one that I got from TJ Maxx. It says sand and fog. I just always have a nice aroma in my house because I love burning candles. So that's my coffee table situation. And then my floor rug that I have in my living room is Martha Stewart brand. It's like a jute rug and it's this nice deep brown color and it looks like it's hand woven and I absolutely love it. I don't remember the website that I got it off of. I'll try and find it. But the reason I wanted this type of rug was just because my floors are pretty bright. As you can see, they're like this light gray and my room just felt really cold. So I wanted to add a little bit of warmth and I did that with a floor rug because I feel like, again, it just makes the light in my living room a lot more warm. So that's my floor rug and my coffee table. And on to my couch, which I feel like everyone always asks me about. I got this couch from Article, and I want to say Article is 100% e commerce. I don't think they have any stores. If they do, they definitely don't have any in Atlanta. So I got this online, and I looked at so many reviews of this couch because. I wanted to make sure that since I wasn't sitting on it and trying it out that I was actually going to like it and so many people loved this couch and I love this because it also matches with sort of the mid-century modern style of my TV stand. One thing I will say about this couch is that it pills so much so you definitely need to get like a deep pillar situation so that your couch doesn't always just have those little balls of lint all over it. Like I literally have to depill this couch at least two, every two weeks or so. And on the couch, I always keep a throw blanket because I always get cold. And I also have two throw pillows. And on the side of my couch, we have my floor to ceiling windows as well as this really tall mirror right here. So let's go check out this area. So first and foremost, we have this mirror hi how you doing i feel like i look like kim possible if i had on khakis i would totally be kim possible right now anyway so this mirror right here is huge like huge and if you follow me on instagram you know this is my infamous picture taking mirror because it is so tall and i got this from ikea and then next to my mirror, I have two of my plant babies. So you can see I have my snake plant and also my fiddle leaf fig right here. I feel like it's so dark because when I'm filming against the light, it's just a, a weird situation. But yeah, so my fiddle leaf, which is growing so nicely and also my snake plant. And then next to that, we have the infamous chair. I sit in this chair pretty much in every single video. I'm either sitting in my chair or on my sofa. And so many people ask me about this chair. And this is actually from Pier 1. Very randomly, someone gave me a Pier 1 gift card when I bought my first condo in 2016, I think. And I had never shopped at Pier 1 before, but when I saw this in Pier 1, I was like, oh, perfect. Like this is surely what I'm spending this gift card on. So this year is about four years old at this point. I feel like 
I bought this even before people were sort of buying these brown wicker wooden chairs as an aesthetic. So I think I was before my time, just saying, just saying. And I just have a pillow sitting in it just because I don't think it's the most comfortable chair. I definitely think it's cuter than it is comfortable. So I just have a pillow that I got from, I don't know, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, something like that. But um, this is what the chair looks like without the pillow. And I'm in love with it. I just, <laughs> she's just so cute. She's just so cute. Anyways, um, so that's that. And next to that, I just have a tripod wooden lamp and I got this from Target. I think these two pieces just go together side by side so perfectly because they both have this sort of like brown wooden feel. And I love bringing browns and like wooden tones into my home because again, I just think it just creates a more warm feeling and it's not just all super cold and just like, you know, all white. So that's just kind of what I have up against my floor to ceiling windows in my living room. And then next going into the kitchen. So I also have floor to ceiling windows in my kitchen as well. As you can see here, I just have a trash can there, but you could ignore that. And then I also have more plants up against this wall as well. So I have my arrowhead plant and I also have my monstera right here too. I don't know, I think these are just so cute together. When I saw them, I was like, y'all are gonna be best friends. So I put them together and then next to it, I just have Chance's food bowl. As you can see, again, bringing in the wood tones, some browns to just warm it up a little bit. And then I also have my patio out there. Not gonna show you guys that because Honestly, it's a whole hot mess and I need to redesign it. All right, and moving away from my window, I have an island. It's pretty small, but honestly, it's big enough for me to work at. Like, since I've been working from home, honestly, this space has been getting the most use from a work perspective. I do just have this random wooden stool that I got from Walmart. I do wanna get a more comfortable stool, especially since I work right here. My back be aching, not gonna lie. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I got this stool from Walmart. And then on top of the island, I have this really pretty vase that I got from Anthropology, I wanna say, and a candle that I got from TJ Maxx. But in this vase, I have these dried out plants. I don't remember the name of them. It, it'll be in the description box. And behind my island, I have my sink, my stove, my microwave, and my refrigerator. If you did not see my kitchen makeover video, I highly recommend watching that video because you will see how different this kitchen looks than it did when I first bought this house. I painted the cabinets white, painted the cabinet pools um, like a matte black color. And I also put this stick on tile paper stuff on the backsplash as well because originally the backsplash is black. Check out that video, but a couple things I just keep on the counters. I do again, just trying to keep it super minimal and functional. To the left of my sink, I just have a Kinfolk cookbook and another book that Someone gifted me, a coworker actually gifted me years and years and years ago. And I just always have a candle over here too. And then I also have this really cool wooden bowl that I got from Home Goods. And inside of it, I normally just keep like little treats and goodies and stuff. These are chocolates that Damani gave me uh, when I crossed over 100,000, but I don't eat chocolate, so I just never ate them. But I normally keep like peppermints or, you know, just little little snacks for people to eat when they come over. And then I also built this wooden shelf. This wasn't here originally, but I did add this when I redesigned my kitchen. And it was so easy. I literally just nailed in a piece here, nailed in a piece here, and then got this cut to be the right length, and I just push that bad boy in there and voila, we have a shelf. So on here I have my 
philodendron. I always wanted something here that would sort of like grow downwards. So I'm hoping it will start to sort of grow all the way down. You can see this one little piece here that's like really starting to grow. And then next to it, I just have a couple of decorative pieces. So this is a spice grinder, like a handheld spice grinder. Um, that was from Home Goods. And then I also have this flower pot that I don't keep plants or flowers in. I just really like it as its own piece and I got that from Target. And then I also have this wooden <laughs> picture frame from Target. I have yet to put a picture in it. I don't know why, but I just have not put a picture in it yet. Next to my stove, I just have a papal towel holder. This is a really nice one that I got from Target. And it's, I don't know, it's just like a gold sort of steel color. And it's just very minimal, but it still is a statement piece, which is rare for a paper towel holder. And then to the right of my stove, I just have all of my wooden sort of like odds and ends, if you will. So I have some wooden spoons that I rarely really ever use. The utensil holder that I keep it in is also from Home Goods. Both of these cutting boards are from Home Goods, and this water bottle, glass sort of like water bottle, is actually from Ikea. And the reason I have this right here is because I always like to keep some water as like room temperature, especially in the mornings, because I don't like to shock my body with super cold water. So I just always have that filled for room temperature water. And then in this little corner over here, I always just have a bowl to throw my mail in or just like random receipts, anything that I don't want to throw away, but I know I need to kind of go through at some point. Honestly, that stuff has been sitting there for probably like three months. Don't judge. Okay. Okay. And then in my kitchen, I also have two rugs. The first one is just, I don't know. It's like a random shaggy rug that I want to say I got from either Ikea or TJ Maxx and then on this side I have sort of a mini jute rug and I love this thing it's so cute and finally we get to this little nook right here that I just haven't really figured out what to do with it yet but um, basically it's like a little nook that is right next to my refrigerator and it kind of leads into my living room and in this little nook I just have a plant that I keep on top of the fridge my friend Liz gave this to me. I don't know the name of this plant, if I'm being honest. I'm sure she told it to me, but I forgot it. And it has these really nice velvet leaves. It's such a cute plant. I still need to repot it and take it out of that pink pot and put it into the ceramic or clay, whatever pot it is that she gave me. And then next to that, I have this photograph that you guys I'm sure have seen plenty of times before in previous videos, but it is just a photograph that I purchased from CN Black. And yeah, at that point we are back to the entrance so that is pretty much everything that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to check out the rest of my home decor home aesthetics playlist i'll leave it in the cards and also comment down below and let me know what is your design style and i will see you guys in my next video peace you a nasty trashy nasty girl why he decide he want to walk around the house as soon as i start filming he always does this <laughs>